Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. We have learnt a lot of things about GitHub workflows in our previous videos and I think we are ready to use our GitHub workflows to build Angular applications. If you haven't created Angular application before, I suggest you to go to my tutorial on Angular 16 where I have a video on how to create your first Angular application. I have provided the link in the description. Please feel free to watch this video. I have created a simple Angular application in our main branch and I'll go to the workflows folder. I'll create a new workflow which will build the Angular application every time we push the code. So click on add file, create new file. I'll name this file as build angular.yml. Let me duplicate this uh, tab so that I can copy the code from my previous workflows to save time. I'll go to demo workflow. I'll copy the code. Go back to angular workflow. Then I'll update the name to build angular app. And I want to run this on uh, main branch every time I push code to this branch. Then we have jobs called build angular. You can name this anything and I'll run this on Ubuntu latest. Then we have steps here. First, every time you want to build an application, you have to check out this code so that this code will be placed in the runner, uh, which is Ubuntu latest and there it will try to build our application. So there is an inbuilt action called checkout in the GitHub marketplace. Let me search this uh, checkout. So this is the action and if I click on it, you see the code for it. So I'll just copy paste, check out action. Name is optional, so you can directly use users. I'll copy only up to version 4. After checkout, the next step is we want Node.js. So there is another action called setup node.js. So let me go back to marketplace, type setup hyphen node. Uh, let me click on this and see what it has. Yeah. So this is the action that can set up our node.js environment. Uh, it will install the node version that we specify in this runner. So I'll copy this, use this. So for this step, I'll give a name, name setup hyphen node or just setup node.js. Then it uses, whenever you use an action that is already available in the GitHub or the action that you have created, you have to use users keyword then paste this uh, action here. So actions usually start with actions slash the name of the action at the rate, the version or the branch name of this action. We'll learn more about these actions in our upcoming videos. But for now, just remember, this is how an action looks like. So it use, uh, using users keyword, we specified the action that we want to use. This action will take an input. We specify the input using the keyword with. And the input name is node version. You can see here that it will use the input called node version. And uh, we can specify the version of the node that node.js that we want to use. And these are the examples how you can specify the node version. I want to use the version 18. So first let me use this node version input and assign a value 18.x. Then let me add another step here where I install the dependencies. Here I want to use a command npm command. So I'll use run. 
run is used to execute commands. If it's a single line command, you can simply type the command here. If it's a multi line command, you'll put a pipe symbol and then go to the next line. But here, since it is a single line command, I'll uh, use it in the same line. Then I'll add another step. This is where we build our Angular application. And here, I'll use another run command and I'll use npm run build. Our workflow is ready. First, we checked out our repository. Then we have a step to set up Node.js where we used the action setup hyphen node with node version as input and we are using 18.x uh, as the version. Then we have another step called install dependencies. This will install all the dependencies required by Angular from package JSON. Then we have the step called build. This will use the command npm run build. This is where we build our Angular application. So as soon as I commit changes, it should trigger this workflow. So let me commit, commit changes, go to actions tab. We see the workflow. This is the build Angular app added to all workflows and we see our first workflow triggered. If I go to this workflow and see the steps, so first Node.js setup is done and before that we have checkout. So what it does is it will go to the runner and it will create a temporary file for us and then it will add our repository change to the runner. So we can see that it's initializing the repository. It's disabling automatic ga garbage collection, setting up auth, fetching the repository. So this is where it goes to our repository. This is our repository, github.actions, and it will check out the code from origin slash main. Then we have set up Node.js. This, uh, uh, this will install the Node.js 18 in our uh, runner. Then we have install dependencies where we run npm install. 119 packages were uh, uh, installed and uh, then we have build. Our application was successfully built. Then it has created assets folder. Then it has created a main folder, polyfills, runtime and styles, whatever is required to deploy our application. So this is how we can build an Angular application using GitHub workflows. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.